<laughs> um, the poem, uh, the lyrics to the song, to the next song, uh, are by my father, the poet Gunnar Salinc, and I set this text to music. Um, my parents, like many of their generation, came over to the United States after World War II as political emigres with nothing but their youth and their eager intelligence. Some of their artist friends found lodging, cheap lodging, uh, in Hell's Kitchen. Um, some still refer to it that way today, the area west of Times Square, which was um, deservedly called Hell's Kitchen as it was a very rough and dangerous neighborhood, uh, especially at that time ruled by rival gangs. Uh, but it was there that the creative work of a small group of Latvian poets, musicians, and artists came to be referred to both here and abroad as Elis Kietis which means Hell's Kitchen in Latvia. <laughs> in Latvian. Um, having heard this um, designation since childhood, it took an almost embarrassingly long time to realize that it actually referred to a physical place <laughs> in New York City as opposed to just being some sort of mythical <laughs> state of mind. Um, um, but in any case, it was in the bohemian spirit that ruled within this small group of artists that the funeral that is uh, described in this next uh, song takes place. And you'll hear something like this uh, translated into Latvian. Musicians no longer play on strings. They play on windows, ledges, floorboards, bowls, play on dripping candlesticks, shins and breasts, play on naked souls at dawn Bones put on some flesh to wear, souls shivered through the shoots of their hair. Uh, and uh, I just wanted to also say that um, in, in that community of artists, um, they found a new home for themselves here in New York. Even though they were cut off from their homeland, they were immensely nourished and even inspired by the vibrant cultural life of New York in the 1950s and 1960s, and by each other. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah. 